Good morning, I'm Sunetra Chaudhary, National Political Editor of Hindustan Times, bringing you the top stories, the best stories from Hindustan Times this Saturday morning, April 11th. First up, a look at the numbers. There are now 7,556 infections across the country and 250 deaths. But the sobering numbers are these, that just in Delhi, the number of new cases is now 183. Across the world, 1.6 million people have been infected and 100,000 people have died. Which brings us to our first story, which is quite worrying, and it comes from South Korea, which has seemed to be quite effective in tackling COVID-19. They are now investigating 91 new cases of people who were previously shown to be clear that they had tested negative, that they'd been cured, but now they're testing positive yet again. Scientists are trying to determine whether it's a case of reinfection, i.e. they've been cured, but then infected again or is it a case of relapse or reactivation of the virus they think it's the latter and scientists say that perhaps those ones who have tested positive yet again they feel may not be at risk to themselves or to anyone else but it just shows how much there is still to know about COVID-19. The second story perhaps is a bit more positive it says that we may have the vaccine for COVID-19 by early 2021. We now have the analysis which says that there are already 73 which are in the exploratory phases of testing. In total, there are 78. Uh, and in fact, all of these vaccines have been developed ever since the structure of the virus was known in January this year. The second story that we have is the one where various people everybody is doing all that they can to tackle the virus and so you have apple and google they're now working on a trace technology which uses bluetooth to let phone users know if they've been close to anyone who has tested positive they say that this technology is going to be available by may that's next month in fact, that's something that the Arogya app, which is more homegrown, has been trying to do as well. They hope that more people download the app so that if anyone that you've been close to, uh, then you are alerted. Of course, as Apple and Google have said, the idea is not to identify those who have tested positive, but really to help those who don't know that they've been close to someone, alert them so that they can be careful as well. An interesting story also coming from Uttarakhand and the Corbett National Park. The Tiger Reserve is now going to have and prepare 10 quarantine centers for tigers. The need for doing this came after the news came of the Bronx Zoo having one of its tigers infected. Of course, in that particular case, it was because the zookeeper was COVID positive and so a lot of the animal handlers in Corbett are also being tested uh, and they're keeping a close eye on them. There are 260 uh, tigers in Corbett and of course experts point out that of them getting infected the chances are very low but they're not taking any chances at all. And finally a complete makeover for HLL Hindustan Latex Limited which used to be known for making Nirodh condoms. Well they're no longer doing that and in fact the PSU which almost got sold three years ago but for the health ministry insisting that the government keep it afloat they are now at the forefront of making antibody tests for COVID-19. Uh, it's already been approved by ICMR and they've already produced a lack of those test kits and they're producing 20,000 of those units in their Maneser plant every day. So a complete makeover there. Those are the top stories from Hindustan Times. You can keep tracking them on our website. I'll be back again tomorrow.